Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the Carmel Zoning Board of Appeals um, meeting uh, month of June 2016. Um, the way we, everybody's names are in front of you. Uh, town Code Enforcement, Mike Carnazzo is with us, and Town Attorney, Greg Fulchetti. Um, the way we operate is we'll hear the cases. I'll swear you in. And whoever's going to be speaking needs to be sworn in, unless you're an attorney. Um, we'll hear the case, and we'll adjudicate at the end of the meeting. But when we close the hearing, there's no further input on that case um, from the public or, or the applicant. Um, will you all please join me for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, All right, thank you. First case tonight is uh, number one, Carmen Diaz. Good evening. State your name and address for the record, please. Carmen Diaz, 20 Toplin Road, Mayapack, New York, 10541. And raise your right hand. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so I hope you got it. I do. I okay, let us know what you're seeking. I'm sorry? Let us know what you're seeking um, relief on. Um, Looks like you, you're retaining an existing pool. Exist, yeah, correct. Okay, so the pool's been there for how long? Um, it's been there for a while. You didn't know you needed a permit? Um, we actually, when we purchased a home, there was actually a pool there. Um, and when we, five, six years later, we purchased the pool and we paid someone to take out the permits. I had no idea that we had to do any, we're first time homeowners, so I had no idea that we had to do anything. So they, they never took the permit out then? Correct. Obviously. But it's in the same footprint as the pool that was there? Yes. And it never got picked up on a title search or anything? I don't, I don't, I don't think so. Okay. Um, have you spoken to your neighbors on either side? Did anybody have an issue with where no, it's located? No, not at all. Um, and this is in Secor, which is all sewer, so there's no septic or anything that's no septic. interfering with it. Mm -hmm. um, I'll poll the board. Silvio? No questions. What's behind the pool? What's, what's behind the pool? Um, Grass. Is there an individual's property? I couldn't, I tried to go on Secor Road to see what was going on, mm -hmm. and I couldn't figure out where the back of your house was in relation to Secor Road. Um, yeah, are, are you over where the, the high tension lines are? Or yes. is there another house in front of you? There's, it's hard to. It's like, it's our house and the power lines are here. So behind so. your house <coughs> is the, the pressure, is the tension lines, there isn't a house behind you? No, no. Okay, no. and the land is, Owned by, I guess, Isaac. Con Ed, is it? Nysek? Nysek. Okay. Nysek, Con Ed. Okay. And the pool is the same size and the same location? Yes. Okay. That's it. That's all I had. Nothing further. Thank you. Thank you. Guys down here. No, no questions. No questions. No questions. All right. Any input from the public on this application? I'll look for a motion to close the public hearing. Motion to close. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Thank you. Thank you. All right, number two this evening is Ancelotti. Good evening. State your name and address for the record, please. Natalie Ancelotti, 33 Mary Avenue, Maybach, New York. Raise your right hand. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. Okay. Uh, you're looking for installing an above ground pool. Yes. But, no. okay. Um, is there not a pool? This is one I couldn't get to, but I, I Google mapped it. Is there not a pool there now? No. That's we took it down. Property next door. This is the property next it's door. It's a weird curved street situation. Okay. You gotta do Street View on Google Maps and you really get to appreciate uh, what was going to, on yeah, there. It was, it was yeah. No, I, I had to look at it like 12 times to see what was going on. Um, you're a unique situation because you're a corner lot. So we, we usually don't, we kind of frown upon pools in the front yard, but 
because you're a corner lot. It's and you don't have much land behind the house. It's no. It's a different situation. I always thought that was the back of the house, but <laughs> technically, but now I see you have that two I'm fronts on the because you have two two road fronts on on both sides. So, uh -huh. um, <coughs> you did talk to your neighbors. Do your neighbors have any issues with it, or not at all? Obviously, someone would be here if they were against it. <coughs> Um, I did have one of the pools that you put up yourself, but then I received a letter to take it down, and I did like two years ago because I didn't know you needed a permit. Okay, well, that was going to be my next question. So, but now you do know you need a permit, hence yes. you need a variance. So, yes. All right. Um, down here, guys. Any questions? I'm just looking at the picture, and I'm wondering it can't be put back five more feet from the line. It looks like there's some space there. Am I reading that wrong? Yeah, it looks like it's 10 feet from, from the property line. I mean, you do have the opportunity to make this comply a little further, and if it's possible, we, we'd like to make that happen. Okay. So if you moved it five feet more, okay. you would only need a 10-foot variance as opposed to a 15-foot variance. Okay. It looks like there's room to do that. Okay. So if you're not against that, I think we'd as a board, right? We would like to see the minimal possible. Right. It'll be a little further from the roadway we'll on the better. property line next to it. Well, that's that looks, it looks like it's. You go back and push it closer to that property line. Five foot back, not five foot from the road. Back? Mike, take a five foot from <laughs> the side road. <coughs> towards the steps. It looks like there's some steps there. Rear, cause it's two, two fronts, two rears. So if we keep going this way, only has to be ten be? feet from the rear. That's right. Because okay. that's a rear line, right? So I'm going to ask you if, if you're okay with doing that. I'm going to ask you to amend and we'll amend your application, but I need you to sign it. So Silvio, can you? That's mind okay. Which there? one is this? Um, and seventy-five twelve. There's no other property you can buy, right, to make this conform. Obviously, no. you're landlocked there, so. Um, any any other input from the board? Well, that address. Are you putting it where the trampoline is? Yes. Excellent. So it's on the on top of the retaining wall. Yes. Okay. No questions. You know how close it is to that retaining wall. Do you know how close to the retaining wall? No, I don't. Well, you can see it on the picture of the retaining wall. Well, we're going to move it, though, right? Oh, do you need to keep it away from the retaining wall? By how much? Or get it checked by an engineer. Yeah. Oh, to make sure. Yeah, they want to move it in. She can move it. This way, look at it's, it's a less. It's, it. no, it's fine. If, okay. if it was a more extreme variance that you were looking for, be, we would have to re-advertise it. But you're lessening it to appease the town and, and the board, and so it should be okay. Okay. Any input from the public on this application? All right. I'll look for a motion to close the hearing. So moved. Second. Thanks. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay, thanks. <coughs> so. Yep. Thank you. All right, number three, Joseph Polito. State your name and address, please. Joseph Polito, 38 Hillside Avenue. And raise your right hand. I swear to tell the truth, whole truth, and not about the truth, so help you guys. I do. Okay, let us know what you're looking to do here. Okay, I'm seeking permission to retain an existing shed. I need uh, some relief and a variance. Um, the shed has been there since 2000. It was never caught in a title search. I believe when I purchased the house, the shed was there already. So I never probably got caught in a title search or whatever, and I was notified that I need a um, variance to leave the existing shed there. Okay, so I'm sorry, it's been there how long? Since I purchased the house in 2000? When I purchased the house, it was there already. Okay. So I purchased the house in 2000. And you're, you spoke to your neighbors, there's no issues? Yeah, my neighbors are fine. It's, it's only affecting one neighbor, and she's, she doesn't really care. 
Yeah, it's kind of screened well around each side. Your lawn is meticulous. Yeah. Um, what would be the cost if you had to relocate it? Oh, I don't even generally. To get it, somebody in there to move it alone may cost me 500 just to move it. Okay. And where I would move it, I have no idea at this point. To get it off the line, it would take a, quite a bit of work to do. Okay. And there's no property you can buy to bring this into conformance? Looks like you're landlocked there. I'm really locked in over there. I, I don't really have a spot, and I'd rather, I'd prefer with the board's approval to leave it there. It's not really bothering any, anyone or anything. Okay. Now, I think you had like four other sheds, like plastic sheds, but it, they're yes, all. Yes, I they're applied for permits for those. He's getting permits, but he's, he's right, you're getting those? Yes, so I already now. put the permits in with the. They're legal, though. Okay, I know they setback conform setback-wise. They're up against oh, the setback house. Setback forms, they're, they're legal. And I put in all for permits. I'm just waiting. It takes a long time for them to process. I okay. called today. So they told me to take about it. another three weeks. Okay. It lies. It won't be that long. <laughs> Took a long time. <laughs> Don't hold your breath. Um, all right, the board. No, no questions. Rose? No questions. It's well screened and it's far from the neighbor's house. No question. Thank you. No questions. No questions. No questions. All right, any input from the public on this application? I'll look for a motion to close the public hearing. So moved. Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. All right, thank you. Thank you. Number four, gold. Good evening. Hi, how are you? You're going to be speaking, yes. obviously. Okay, Robin, I'm Robin Gold, and I'm 501 North Lake Boulevard, Maypack, okay. New York. And Rose? And Rose, my architect. Are you going to be speaking? <laughs> She's going to speak. Okay. <laughs> Raise your right hand. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. Okay, let us know what you're trying to do. Okay, so we're adding a mudroom on the side of the house. We need a 3.5 variance to help with the elevation getting in because it's very difficult to get into that house, and I have elderly parents, and so we, it's a lower elevation. Okay, so your parents live with you, obviously? They don't, but they visit a lot. Okay. Um, and my neighbor is, you know, fine with it. She's Lisa Levain. All right, it's not a very big variance, and I, I see it looks like you're doing a, a complete overhaul of the house. That's, no. Well, it looks like on the uh, elevations of the drawing that different than what's there. The, a front porch and just, okay. you know, fixing the stairs because they're all broken. Okay. Um, there's no other property you can buy to conform? No. Um, yeah, it looks like uh, an easy one. I mean, you have good screening. I was out there yesterday, good screening on that side with the neighbor. I think there are some evergreens, if yes. I recall. So uh, it's not. And we'll plant, you know, more to give it, you know, better screening as well. It's very neighborly of you. <laughs> um, guys down here, any questions, concerns? No, no questions. No questions. Down here? No questions, thank you. No questions, thank okay. you. Uh, any input from the public on this application? All right, I'll look for a motion to close. Motion to close. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks, guys. All right, number five, uh, Justin Prisco. Good evening. Uh, Justin Prisco, 192 Barradale Road, Mayapak. Raise your right hand. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do. All right, you're seeking to construct a shed. Correct. Okay. Um, I was out there yesterday. Any reason why it's going where you're showing it? Uh, that's the only place that I can put it, because I want to put uh, like snowblower in it and stuff like that to use for the driveway. Okay, I'm assuming that you have septic fields and whatnot in the back backyard? That's correct. So to, you uh, if you're looking at the house to the right, the septic fields. Okay, and your tank is probably close by, right? Yeah. Um, there's no other property you can buy to I wish form? there was. <laughs> <laughs> it looks like you, you have a lot of land nearby, yeah. but nothing available, right? Nope. Um, I, you know, since you haven't built this yet or put it in place, is there anything you can do to bring this into further conformance? You know, uh, a couple feet, four or I, five feet maybe. I just I don't want to go into my backyard with it. I don't want to have it in the middle of my backyard. 
All right. No, I mean, I understand for convenience, but if you have the ability to do it, we're gonna we're gonna ask you to negotiate okay. a little bit. Okay. Um, you know, I think it looks like maybe you have a couple feet. Hard to tell from your site plan, which is not, it's kind of small and, and faded, but. Right. Um, Either way. If we could bring this thing over a couple more feet, that would help. Okay. Um, anybody have any concerns or comments on that? No, I think that's fair. Go ahead. This doesn't look like a shed. This looks like a garage. No, it's, uh, this is a shed because big it's is it? just under. Uh, it's 10 by 18. Yeah, that's under. 10 by 20 is a garage. It is? All right, um, yeah. because there's pictures of big garage doors. Yeah, that's just the model they have, and then you could size it how you want. So I could change it to 10 by 10 if I want, oh. or I can go up if yeah. I wanted to. Bro, see, because it yeah, says it's, 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 it's still 24 shed. by 12 or 24, but he's 10 by 18. 10 by 18. Yeah. Um, the garage door, is that an oversized door? No. It's that's just, uh, it's side. actually smaller because I'm going with the smaller door. Oh, okay, because I saw the truck, and I wasn't <coughs> no. sure if you're getting no. you know, a massive <laughs> garage. That's okay. Difference. All right, you guys are good down here. So if we bring this in um, a couple more feet, so eight feet would be pro provided, and you would need a variance of 12 feet. Okay. Does that work? That works for me. That work for you guys? Sure. It works for me. All right, we'll go. Oh, well, well. <coughs> All right. I didn't anticipate the boss's no, next move. <laughs> Fifty-three-two. No one don't. She has them in order. She does. Yep. It's the last one. Or second last. Fifty-three-two. Further input from the board? Any input from the public on this application? <clears throat> I look for a motion to close the hearing. Motion to close. Seconded by? Second. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Thanks. Okay. Good luck. Take a union break. Um, all right. Uh, number six tonight, they are looking for uh, a holdover. I'll look for a motion on that. Motion to hold it over. And I'm sorry, that was uh, number six, Roger Nault. Right. Uh, do I have a second on it? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Um, at this point, you guys can stick around. We're going to, anybody want to take a break? No. Go right through. All right, we're going to uh, adjudicate at this point. There's no further input from the public, and uh, you can stick around to hear your verdict. Otherwise, if you want to go home, you'll catch it on TV, or you can find out from the secretary tomorrow. Um, <clears throat> all right, number one, Carmen Diaz. I'll look for a motion. Motion to grant. Second. 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 All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Number two, Ancelotti. Motion to grant is amended with 15 feet provided, variance required of 20. Uh, do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. 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 Variance no, 10. Yeah, 10. 10. 10. 10. 10. Correct that. Correct that. Right. Oh. Yes. Sorry. Sorry. You want to yeah. Yeah. correct that motion? motion. Correct that. Uh, correct motion. I take back that motion? <laughs> Amend the motion. Amend the motion. Amend the motion as amended on the um, application. 15 feet provided, variance required of 10. Sorry. All right, do I have a second on that? Well, second. It's his amended second, right? All right, all in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. That's granted. Number three, Polito. Motion to grant. Do I have a second? Second. <clears throat> all in favor? Aye. 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 Granted. Number four, Gold. Motion to grant. Do I have a second? Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Um, granted. Number five, Prisco. Look for a motion. Motion to grant as amended, provided eight feet, variance required of 12 feet. Do I have a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. And let's see, minutes. May, right? Yeah, we have minutes of May. Uh, she made a correction, right? Yeah, what did she say? In here? Sent out. Yeah. We have the corrected minutes. 
We will yeah, she did send a correction out already via email, so yes. everybody's in receipt of that. Uh, who wasn't here? Someone wasn't here. No, I think everybody was here. Hey. I think we were full board. We're all here. Okay, wow. No, we were all here. All right. Any the troublemaker was back. Any comments or concerns? No. All right, I'll look for a motion to accept the minutes of May. So moved. Do we have a second? Second. second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Okay. Yeah. That concludes this evening's meeting. Thank you, everyone. Have a safe and happy, enjoyable summer. Happy 4th of July. Happy 4th of July. Thanks, Dominic. I got Jack of Palooza this week.